Lights go down, wheels go round. I'm taking you home, hoping for a slow song to come on the radio now. I'm not. MC! 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 A slow dance. With you spinning around by the Walmart sign, moving our feet over the painted white lines. Welcome Katrina Acevedo from Per Missouri for an opening performance. And Raya Rosella from 11 Per Missouri. Um, my name is Kat. Hi, I'm Raya. And together we are Rat. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. You all look so lovely tonight. 
Good but, evening, everyone. But before that, that was such a beautiful song, sung by Katrina. Can we give her one more round of applause? Yes, I couldn't agree more. I love that song, Arman. And if you look, if you look at everyone tonight, they all look so lovely. You know, from way up here, we could all see your dresses. And we even saw a few girls coming in wearing pantsuits. And that is so beautiful. Exactly. A perfect example of a modern and phenomenal woman. Just like exactly. we all know the epitome of MC girls, right? Yes. Mark? And then me being an alumni of MC, it's really good to be back here seeing the teachers as well. And I know Ate Rowena was outside welcoming you all. She was also our security guard back when I was in grade school. And it's just making me feel like I'm at home right now. Nostalgia it is, Marty. But of course, before anything else, Marty, you look gorgeous. You look beautiful as always. And you look dapper yourself, Arman, but not as gorgeous and dapper as everyone around this grand ballroom. I mean, look at these dresses. Ang bonga. And of course, our dapper gentlemen who are in their very well-groomed and well-fitted suits. But of course, this event is not about us. But be before we proceed to the next part of our program, allow us to introduce ourselves. My name is Armand Hernandez, UAAP Digital Insider and Court Tag Reporter. Yes, for Adamson. And yes, I worked with Armand back in ABS-CBN. I was the UAAP Season 80 courtside reporter for Ateneo. And it's good to be working back with Armand once again. So Armand, do you know why the whole Grand Ballroom is themed like this? Well, um, as we all know, Marty, this night is very special for these young men and women. But it has been a very... Of course, exhausting day for all the yes. preparation. But I think before I answer that question, no one knows the exact reason why the girls have chosen this year's prom to be their theme. Yes. It's, Actually, except for you, Marty, of course. Can you explain to us why it's all Primavera themed and very Versailles themed here tonight inside Conrad? Well, Manila? if you look over here, you can see everybody's grand dresses. They're so big, they're so fluffy. And if you look over there, it's the same thing. And if you're coming up all together, the whole theme of this beautiful night is Primavera. And it means beauty in full bloom. And the theme is La Vie en Rose, which is inspired by the Palace of Versailles. Have you been to Versailles, Armin? No one could say the theme better than you, Marty. Of course, <laughs> you speak really good French. Yeah. But, Marx, <laughs> unfortunately, I haven't been to Versailles. And of course, I'd love to go there with you sometime soon. But, Marx, tonight, I have been transported to this very beautiful place, or palace, should we call it, because <laughs> of how this venue depicts not only elegance, but also magnificence and glamour. Truly. It really feels like I'm in Versailles, Mars. Yes, definitely. And you know what, Armand? Why don't we not longer delay this? What's up next? Of course, Marty, it's only fitting that we start tonight's program with someone who truly wishes these girls well, who wishes these girls to have a fantastic time this evening for them to have the night of their lives and we who only want the best for our grade 11 students. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause to Miriam College High School Principal, Miss Nancy Roman. Hello, good evening everyone. Hello, good evening everyone. So good to the uh, Family Council Executive Board, our administrators, our teachers, the parents of the grade 11, and of course, my beautiful, beautiful grade 11 students. Welcome to Primavera. I know this is uh, Primavera, I was told, means beauty in full bloom, and what a beautiful sight I am seeing here today, not only because of your gowns, but more so for your natural beauty inside and out. So, amid, amid the code red happening today, we are having this fun evening. So do enjoy yourselves. Congratulations to the organizers, the committee, the committee members of the prom, and of course, to the indefatigable, uh, sorry, to the 
parent leader, of course, Mrs. N. Malabanan. Congratulations, and to the parents of grade 11, have a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank you. Yes, and that was such a beautiful speech by none other than Miss Nancy Roman. And I remember it was only like yesterday seeing Miss Roman back when I was in high school, and just like what she said, beauty in full bloom. Miss Roman, you never changed. You're so gorgeous as ever. It's like you never age. <laughs> also, guys. We know how hard it is to get ready for a prom, to put on makeup, to get those dresses fitted together. Who's tucking in their tummy right now? Who's breathing in? <laughs> but of course, Marty, before I proceed to the banquet, you know what I really loved about Ms. Roman's speech was that she mentioned the, and also recognized the team effort the yes. men and the women behind this grand promenade. That's so true, That Arlon. not only the students or the prom committee were very involved in this program or in this event, but also the parents. Yes. And of course, Marty, as a proud alumna, I know that you've experienced uh, an MC prom, as you mentioned back then during your high school. What was it like? How different was it? from your prom to tonight's very grand evening? Actually, you know, it's really the parents who really try to make our night special. And I see it all today, the hard work they put in into making this grand ballroom really lighten up and look just like the theme, La Vie en Rose. And just as everyone sitting here on the table today, I know they're just ready to enjoy the night. And that's thanks to the parents. Yes, you're a very proud alumna, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> and also probably a teacher's pet, of course, of Miss Roman. Yes, I was actually Miss Roman's teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Marty, save those high school stories later. But now, Marts, it's 8 p.m. and I'm sure everyone's mm -hmm. starving. I can see some of them munching on their <laughs> snacks and of course, their appetizers. But here's, as we proceed to the next part of the program, some of you may not have eaten during the whole day. Of you might course, have been exhausted yes. from all the preparation. Must have been very excited for tonight's dancing and of course, eating for our banquet together but the good news is i heard that tonight's banquet is truly sumptuous and have been well prepared by conrad manila but before that we'd like to call bettina benita sorry rather benita flores to lead us all in a prayer of thanksgiving let us remember that we are in the most holy presence of god in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen almighty father we thank you for the opportunity of tonight for all of us to arrive here safely, be with our friends, those who we love, and dress up so beautifully to celebrate all the good things worth celebrating tonight for this occasion. As we take part with everything that's about to unfold tonight, may we remember to keep the grace and love all throughout. Keep us all involved safe, and may you watch, may you watch over all those who aren't able to be here with us tonight for whatever reason. Give everyone a fun and memorable evening, one that's worth looking back at. Before we move on to dinner, let us all pray. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, Almighty God, for all your blessings which we have just received from your bounty. Bless us, O Lord. <laughs> Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, Marty, I heard that everyone is awaiting for this special number, and I'm actually familiar with it, but Marts, I'm not entirely sure what it is for. Yes, and you know, everybody's wondering, who are these people standing next to the stage? Well, Armand, I'd like to tell you that you're pertaining to the Cotillion d'Honneur. It's actually a social dance that's been popular in the 18th century in Europe. It was done before as means of teaching young men and women proper social graces to be respectful members of society and to socialize with friends, which is what we're really doing tonight. We want to be social, we want to connect, and we also want to live our theme, La Vie en Rose. And it's also fitting to feature some of our students from the Blue Batch. I can't wait to see this Years Cotillion de Ernor, and I can't wait to witness this myself, of course, the hard work and preparation that these young men and women have done for this night. Now, so ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Primaveras Cotillion de Ernor.
Gusto kita isayaw ng mapakay Gusto kita isayaw ng mapakay Hawak kamay, dikit mata Sumasapay sa musika Gusto kita isayaw ng mapakay Sabay sa tuktok ng kanta Ating katawa At dahan-dahan Matitikin Ating mga pala Matagal ko nang gusto Nangyari to Kakantahan ka na Akapela sa iyong tenga At nanamnamin